I am Slick Nick, your personal Sigma mentor. And I think I have a very relevant question that we need to address. Is it more in a line with the feminine frame for a man to choose to have hair as opposed to shaving it or buzzing it off? Now, before I get into this, which I feel like I've got good content to back up my, my stance on this, here's what I'm going to say. Here's the disclaimer. As a man, you should have whatever hairstyle that you want, that you feel is an extension of your identity. It, it serves as an avatar for you. You should do what you feel is the best way to represent yourself. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to anybody else. Of course, when I say don't listen to me, I'm going to tell you, well, then, yeah, you should listen to me. Because what am I saying? I'm saying to do what you think is right. What I'm not saying to do is that you should shave your hair off or that you should grow your hair out. I don't care and I don't want to be involved in that. So yeah, you should listen to me because here's what I'm telling you. Do what is the best representation of you and how you see yourself and as a man. So yeah, listen to me on that one. Now, with that being said, if we were to arbitrarily decide if having hair versus shaving it off or buzzing it off, is that more masculine or feminine? Well, we're going to look at the, we're going to look at our ruler here. You know, our ruler is this whole concept of, of feminine energy versus masculine energy. Okay. So let's, let's, let me refresh you on the definitions here. So masculine energy is calm. It is stable and it's providing, providing logical solutions, feminine energy, chaos, conflict, emotional turmoil. And, and if you haven't heard me talk about that before and, and unpack that, watch my videos on it. I mean, I've, I've easily proved it with shows like The Bachelor, the lyrics of country music songs, uh, chick flicks. It's never about like really overcoming an obstacle like Rocky or Rambo, where there's masculine energy and there, yes, there's chaos, but they're getting their way out of it. They're not bathing in it and, and enjoying that. So with that being said, a man who chooses to have hair versus a man who chooses not to. So here's what I've noticed over the years in making these videos. There are, for certain men, having hair is emotional turmoil. So many men are worried that they're losing their hair. And to some degree, most men are slowly, but to some degree, most men are on that track. And I've taught before, Basically, whatever age you are, that percentage of the population is probably bald. So like if you're 30 years old, I'd say around 30% of men around you are bald on top. Age 50, same thing. Age 70, same thing. So by default, most men are at least slowly balding. So there's this anxiety, there's, there's this fear of, am I going to go bald? Well, if you carry around that thought and you spend any time or energy or motion tethered to that concept of, am I, oh, is my hairline going up? Am I, am I thinning out? And if that's something you look in the mirror and you, and you think every day, I'm telling you that that counts as emotional turmoil. I'm telling you that counts as conflict. I'm telling you that counts as chaos. That's feminine energy. But if you can look in the mirror and you think, you know what, my hairline's going back. I'm seeing some thinning going on, but Hey, that's okay. I'm going to own it. And I don't want to shave my head, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to rock what I got. Well, guess what? That is masculine energy. And you don't need to shave your head to do that. Now, for me personally, I shave my hair when I feel like it, when I do. I'm probably somewhere in between of like, well, I totally get it that like, I don't want to spend any time noticing that I've got gray hair coming in or a hairline going back or thinning up here or here. I don't want to think, but at the same time, I may grow my hair back in a couple months. I don't know because I honestly don't care, which that goes back to that Sigma energy, which is just kind of remaining detached. So ultimately here's the answer is having hair feminine. It easily can be if you're spending time worrying about it. If you're not spending time worrying about it, whether you have hair or don't, then it's not, it's that simple. Are you allowing the thought of your hair to bother you? And I would even say too, 
are you spending a lot of time on this as well? Because I would say it's masculine to focus on being productive and having your own identity. But putting that into fixing your hair or maintaining your hair all the time, to me, that's not a good use of time because being masculine is also being good at time management. And I've talked about that a lot as well. So how are you spending your time? Well, that's, that says a lot about you. If you're even spending time worrying or thinking about hair, that's not masculine, that's feminine. So I would say, well, then get rid of the hair. That's what I would say if you're in that situation. So clearly the answer to this question is having hair feminine versus shaving it off. Not necessarily. It easily is for a lot of people. And I'm somewhere in the middle because I, I get it. I don't want to spend time thinking about it. And I love how low maintenance it is. Again, when it comes to time management, I feel that like overall, I'm spending a lot less time just shaving this every couple of days and not having to fix my hair and not buying product for it. Not that I was spending a lot of time or money, but still any way I can be more efficient, then that's what I want to do. So that's where it's up to you. But ultimately just ask yourself, when you look in the mirror, what do you feel? Do you feel chaos? conflict and emotional turmoil, or can you look in the mirror, no matter what you got going on and think, yeah, I'm calm, I'm stable. And this is a logical solution, whether you've shaved it off or whether you have a full head of hair and you have it styled a certain way. That's the only question you really have to ask. And spoiler alert, all of these videos that I'm making on masculine frame, they're ultimately going to keep coming back to the same thing as we look at the energy. So, a lot of these titles are going to be asking questions and we're going to be looking at certain things. And ultimately I invite you to start predicting what I'm going to say, because I'm always going to come back to masculine versus feminine energy. And I think by making these videos, it can put things in a new light as far as, uh, as far as how we can define these things. And I would say that in your journey of becoming more of a man and identifying as masculine energy, which is the thing that actually makes you attractive, then I would say you're going to be naturally focused more on this. And again, I'll close the video by reminding you abundance mindset versus scarcity mindset. A man, a mature man is going to have abundance mindset focused on the future, focused on what you do have, not on what you don't have, focused on what you can control, not on what you can't control. Scarcity mindset is focused on the past, back when you had thicker hair. <laughs> Scarcity mindset is focused on what you don't have, the hair that's leaving your head. Scarcity mindset is focused on what you can't control, which is your DNA that is the reason that you're losing your hair. Yes, you can artificially intervene, get a hair transplant taper, but you can do all those things. But ultimately, even that, I'm telling you, so many people the default is scarcity mindset when it comes to hair loss, male hair loss. Abundance, abundance mindset is overcoming that, getting ahead of it, and inside your brain, having a plan that aligns with being calm, stable, and providing a logical solution, as opposed to the default of the world, which is chaos, conflict, and emotional turmoil. Your comment belongs right here.